Okay guys, gonna tie you a wee trout fly. Um this is the wee pattern here. It's called the black eye. Now you can't go wrong with this, in my opinion. Well, or any black fly. Now the hook in the face is a size 10 standard heavyweight bat fly hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in black. So we'll just come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. And then we'll just run down the thread just until we're slightly past the point and remove the waist tag. Now the tail on the fly is just black cock haggle fibers. I can get a better one than that. There's one there. And all we're gonna do to get them broken ones away is just bring out the fibers from the stem and then just take away one pinch. I'm going to tie my tail on the length of the hook over the back and then I'm going to work the thread down the shank of the hook tying in the tail and then square this off the rib on the fly is a small oval silver tinsel this is the Van Yards 14 it's a uni it's a small so we'll just take a length of this off, offer this up to the hook, and just run our thread up, catching these two mid, the cut ends of the cock haggle fibre, and then the oval silver tinsel. Now, don't worry about any lumps and bumps, the body's going to be dubbed, so we'll not sweat the small stuff, just bring your thread back, and open turns right tight up against the tail. The body is just black seals fur. Actual seals for dyed black. Just gonna show you it in a wee second. Just getting a wee pinch of it out here. That's it there. And what we'll do is just take your pinch and just dub it onto the the thread now. Just always remember, just take your dubbing the one way. We'll slide this up. Once you get it onto the hook, if you feel like you need to tighten it, you can tighten the the dubbing up. Just build up with some sort of taper. Anything that's going forward, just come in and stroke it back. Get a couple of thread turns in to hold everything back out of the way for you. And then you can come round with four turns of your oval silver tinsel up the body. Follow it around with your thread. A couple of turns will secure that in for you. Then just come in and trim away the excess. Now I want to bring out some of the dubbing. So I'm just going to come in with some Velcro. Just put a wee bit of movement into the fly. If you bring out some of the dubbing in my opinion. I'm just going to bring the thread to my eye and back up. Now the next part of the fly is just a, I'm going to use a hand haggle. You can use a cock haggle, black cock haggle, if you wish. This is just a natural hand haggle that I'm using. So I'll just stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. Just offer this up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns to secure. Fold the tip back. Just bring your thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Then come in and locate the tip. Just bring it away. Uh, this is a wee short haggle here, so I'm going to stroke the fibers back gently and just come around with one turn in front of the other. Now, so everybody has their own ideas of how many turns of haggle to put on. Sometimes, just with a hand haggle, it's just because it's a dance favor. need to be careful. Right. I'm just going to put a turn in here and one more to hold it just to get check. Okay I'm happy enough with that so I'm just going to tighten up with another couple of turns and then just come in and remove the access to the haggle. Anything that's going forward I'm just going to stroke it back bring my thread to the eye back up again. 
So, oh, that's what, just want to have a wee look at it. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now, the next part of the fly, I'm going to put. You're going to put on a wing. This is black fin raccoon. Now, on the original pattern, it was black grey squirrel tail dyed black, or uh, long black hack haggle fibers. So you can use both. It's up to you. This the fin raccoon is just a wee bit more mobile. Um, and you don't really need a small pinch of it. You don't need too much. Too much. I take my pinch of fin raccoon and I don't want the fibers coming past the, the tail just want them to be sort of way level and I'm just going to hold up my finger and thumb come around with a pinching loop and then just a couple of tight turns just to hold it in position and then I'm going to come in and just nice pair of sharp scissors trim away the excess Take a bit of thread out of my bobbin holder, bring the thread to the eye, and just build the head up from the front. Now, don't be shy with the head on this fly, it is a lure, the head's part of it. Now, the wee pattern does require jungle cock, and if you have some jungle cock, you'll have loads of these ones that are split. This is perfect for the flies like this. So I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. Just hold the split ends down the sides. And then just come around with a couple of loose turns. Just to see how you're sitting. Make sure you're looking good and happy. And then you can tighten up with another few turns. Uh, just going to trim this away at this stage. The excess of the jungle cut. Same again, bring my thread to the eye and come up over the cut ends of the jungle cut. Up to there. And then just come in with your whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish. Nice and tight. Just to finish off, I'll put on a couple of coats of varnish onto the head. Just to seal the head up. Make it nice and bright and shiny. Probably stick another coat onto that guys. Now, there you go. There's not there's nothing to that guys. But that's a great wee fly to have in your box. Honestly, for the trout. Especially facing on the point. Um maybe have another, like I say, maybe three, four flies up the cast on your team and strip that back fast and that'll that'll take trout. So look guys, tie a few up, get a few in your box, hopefully they can catch you a few fish. And many thanks for taking the time to watch the video and tight lanes.